In this video, we'll cover the video workflow in Live Session View, warping video clips, and what Live's mixer can be used for in regard to video. Live Session View is ideal to use as a non-linear timeline for video, for example during a live performance. You can place video clips into clip slots of audio tracks. The first time you'll do this, this message will appear. Live does not support video playback in the Session View natively, but since Video Sync will take care of this from now on, we can press Don't Show again and hit OK. When we then trigger the video clip, the video will appear in the Video Sync output window. Everything from this point on works the same as with audio, so let's take a look at some of those workflows and features. If we double click on a clip, the bottom detail view will pop up and we'll see the waveform of the audio in the video clip. Here we can adjust the loop brackets, apply automation, use follow actions, and even warp the video. Warping, when applied to video, means that if we adjust the BPM of the project, the video playback speed will adjust as well. The same applies to placing warp markers. This way, we can make parts of the video play slower or faster. Now let's take a look at the mixer. We can use the volume fader to control the opacity of the playing video. We can also mute channels. And when we have more than one video playing, it may be desired to solo a video from time to time. We can also group video channels. And if we then mute the group, both videos will disappear from the screen. Similarly, we can also use video effects on group tracks to apply effects on all video tracks inside the group. Lastly, Live's crossfader can be used to transition between two layers of video. Once the crossfader is enabled, we can assign tracks to layer A or layer B and make smooth transitions between the two.